Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing The Night Way Home. This is a chillest art game. It came out about a month and a half ago or so. I'm a little late on playing it, but I'm always late on playing chillest art games. They come out so frequently. Um, this is a game about walking home alone at night, I think, so I always like those. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Good morning. Ugh, what time is it? She already left for work. She already left for- isn't that good? Isn't that a good thing? You sound frustrated. We have found that a junior high school girl is missing. Yesterday, around 8 p.m., Setsuna Funamori, who is believed to have been on her way home after an extracurricular activity, went missing. Is he, he didn't say anything there. <laughs> Wait, what time is it? I'm going to be late. Oh, okay. So I guess we have no relation. I thought maybe that that was the person he was talking about. Hey, did you hear? The girl from next school. She's been missing since yesterday. Oh, I know. I think it was at the station. That's right. She said she left her friend at the station and hasn't been seen since. I never know when they're done. But she told her friends that she didn't want to go home, right? So could it be that she just ran away from home? Maybe, but isn't it scary that she still hasn't been found? Well, sure. But I would have run away. Rumor says there was domestic violence. I feel sorry for her. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have been able to stand it either. I hope they find her soon. What a cool little gossip sesh we had after school hours in an empty classroom during sunset. All right. I don't want to go home. Huh. Wait, were you just mocking her? <laughs> I don't want to go home. This is she, she's dead. You know, I don't want to go home either. I would just feel lonely. I know my mom doesn't like me much, but... Oh, that's sad. I like, I like the idea of them being like, you know, I don't want to go home either. But you don't see me fucking belly aching about it. Oh, here we are. How old are we? Look like we're like seven or something. I guess we're just really short. Use the escalator. Enter subway. Sure. Did I go up the up escalator? I wonder if it matters. You know, I think... I don't want to accuse Chilla of uh, recycling a map. But isn't this very similar to... Uh, the subway map for... Um, was it the train? The haunted train? The ghost train. It's getting late. I should get home fast. Oh, what do you think I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get you home fast. There, okay, you want me to run? I'll run. Russian me. I like, uh, you're gonna have to give me some help. I don't know, I, I guess we just go up. I don't wanna go home yet. I thought you just said you were in a hurry. Well, I thought you just, <laughs> what do you mean you don't wanna go home yet? Okay, fine, I guess we'll go. What do you wanna do then? I guess we'll go do something else. Use toilet. There's somebody sniffing in here. What is this? Okay. Suspicious activity. Go in. Fascinating. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Hi. Oh, crying girl. Oh. Oh, your life is so tragic. Would you like to talk? Hi. Are you okay? 
Why are you crying? I just... I don't want to go home. Oh. Me too. You too? I guess we're two of a kind. But I have to get home. No, you can't leave. Why don't you watch me? What are you doing? Is everything okay? Now you got over that, did you? What'd you grab my arm for? Hey! D what, did you knock me out? Whoa! Somebody knows their pressure points. What happened? I don't know, what happened to your elbows, by the way? Oh, they're okay now. I need to get home. Oh, I thought it wasn't time to go home yet. Flashlight. You can press F key to quickly get out your flashlight. Tab to open inventory, mouse scroll, got it. Now, I don't really have any other items. Thank you, I kinda needed that. By the way, this is a big flashlight. I like how I was just sitting on the sink. That's where I find flashlights all the time. People just leave them there. What happened? Oh, it's dark. I'm scared. If you stay in dark for too long, the red meter or anxiety meter at the top of the screen will go up. If the meter reaches its limit, you will be in a state of panic, which will cause the enemy to sense you. Be careful, you cannot interact while panicking. You have to lose the enemy and calm yourself down before doing anything. Oh wait. What? Why is it increasing over there? Oh, weird. Even with the flashlight on? Okay, so you just gotta like sprint through. This is the only way out of this place. It's shut tight. Okay. Well, <laughs> don't you wish you had gone home now? I don't understand what qualifies as a dark place and what doesn't. Like apparently, it's dark over here, even though it's lit up. But then I can stand around in the darkness and it's... Well, well how come I panicked? Get up. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Stop it! Leave me alone! What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you making that sound? How do I lose her? Ah! Get back up, get back up. What, what? Kill me! Kill me, just kill me. I need to start over. I don't understand what I did wrong. Look at, look at Long Leg McGee over here! <laughs> okay, I'm completely confused. The red meter was not going up when she appeared, and I had to panic. Is it just because she appeared? Like, the red meter didn't go up, it's just... When Long Leg Girl shows up, then that's... That's it? Eesh, okay. What, see, oh yeah, okay, 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 I get it now. I get it now. Get up! Thankfully she lets me have a breather moment. So how do you lose her though? I just lost her. I just lost her. How do you lose her? Loser? <laughs> Turn my question into an insult. Okay, yeah, back to my question though. Like, here, no panic. Here, here complete Darkness, no panic, right? You go over here though, all of a sudden, panic. I don't get it, I don't get the system. I wonder if she can hear us run. That could be something to uh, watch out for. Oh, what's this? Locked, okay. Locked door, so we need to find like a key for that. Fucking. Very polite of her to wait for us while we were uh, incapacitated on the ground. Very nice ghost killer. Thank you. Thank you, evil ghost girl, for playing fair. Oh my god. <laughs> what should I do? Save progress? Oh, that's what that is. The public phone. Okay. I gotta figure out, like, what to interact with. 
Because, of course, when I was in the chase, I kept, like, seeing, like, little yellow question marks. Okay, so this is the restroom. This is, like, where I started. Anything in the men's restroom except, like, 85 urinals? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Chilla put some collectibles. Some sticker collectibles. I have not been picking them up. That was, like, the Get up! Eesh! That's the locked door, right there. Oh wait, that's something. That's the save. How come I can't lose her? There's the locked door. Okay, we saw the locked door. Was it there? Oh, it's just a sticker! It feels like... This is something. Remember to get the security key from the locker. Don't forget, it's at the top row of the west locker. Top row... ...of the west locker. The west locker? There's multiple lockers? These are the only ones that I've seen? The west locker? I don't have a compass. I don't know which direction west is. Get into the light, or get into whatever the game thinks is a light. Oh! 389-1270-908. That's a phone number, isn't it? Why is this in red? Looks like it's a phone number. Oh, okay. Top row. I guess that's it. So now... Now I go, now I go back to the public phone, maybe, where I save my game and I call someone? There's the bathrooms. Okay, can't forget the sticker! Oh, is that Jeff the Killer? What the hell? Okay. Whoa! Get up! Oh, what? Oh, God. You can't see it, but I sent my two key flying on the keyboard. Call it. Hello? That was useless! I called the phone number and it remotely activated the top locker. <laughs> ah, <get up. laughs> this is a bit different for Chilla's art. A bit more of a uh, AI uh, monster mash security room key. Oh my god, finally you picked it up! Bro! You kept just closing the locker. I was like, that is not what I want you to do. Locked. Well... Okay. There we go. I get, don't worry, I got a sticker. Control panel. Open the exit shutter. Okay, great. Oh, don't forget all the- all the weird little stickers. Okay, so I opened the exit shutter. So now I just gotta get to the exit. Here we go. Exit shutter. Here, let's get into the- Oh! Exit? Yeah. <laughs> I got lucky. I was about to say, let's go into the light and get our- Anxiety back. Or lack of anxiety back. No, you just- ah! Come on. What is going on? I have to get my bike. It should be in the basement parking lot. I have to get home fast. You know, you keep saying that. But then last time you had an opportunity to get home fast, you declined it. First person perspective? Oh, this is different. Oh, Look at this. Uh... Now here's the here's the only issue. Um, there's also an option for depth of field that I checked, but as you can see, it's not. Uh, unfortunately, it's not implemented properly. I am very short. It is weird playing a first-person game where you're very short. I haven't played Among the Sleep 
in a long time. Um, man, talk about a hyped up horror game that just didn't deliver. I remember that was back when indie horror games like were like straight up not a thing. And I remember the big pitch for Among the Sleep was that it was amnesia, but with a baby. And then it turned into this like weirdly fantasy focused um Alice in Wonderland clone and it was not uh it was not scary. There was one monster that was kind of cool. Um and if you play it you know what I'm talking about. That's one of, I think that's one of my biggest like horror disappointments that game Among the Sleep. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Wait, where's the bicycle? Oh! Bro. I'm panicking anyway. Ooh, you get spooky sounds when you're panicking. Keep going down. You said it was in the it was in the basement. Right? In the basement. So I'm gonna keep going down. What? My mom bought me a stuffed animal for my birthday. I sleep with it every day. All right, fascinating story, kid. You want me to go get you a stuffed animal? Are you serious? I've got enough to do around here. You want me to go on a little treasure hunt? Oh, there she is. Oh, I can't, I can't even go this way. Oh God. Where's Teddy? Is it out here? Oh. You're just standing in the light. Oh my gosh. You can't stand being in the dark for like two seconds, dude. Did that kid want Teddy for like a good ending or something? Oh, let me guess. I'm gonna get a bad ending. If I just go straight for my bike. I saw you over there. I saw you. Think I didn't see you? I saw you. I'm going down. Ooh. You're staying in the light. You feel better? Okay. Hopefully you didn't go egg Here I go. Huh, oh, there's the bikes! There's the bikes! How do you get to them? How do you get to the bikes? How do you get to the bikes? How do I get to the bikes? I have to not be panicking. Oh, which one's my bike? My bike. Oh, that was so sad. Did it get wrecked? Long legs McGee, huh? Man, how strong is she? She grabbed it and crumpled it up. Damn. I guess that ghost girl in the stairwell is just gonna have to like get over it, you know? I ain't going to get their teddy bear. I can crawl into the shutter. Yeah. Dude, I don't care if that is required for like the good ending. I'm not doing it. Interesting, when you when you switch to first person perspective, it automatically will switch back in the next scene to third person. I have to get to the bus stop. There's no way I'm walking back home. Now where was the local bus stop around here? A good question. I don't know. Look at us. Unusa. I have no idea what that is. What is this? Is this a hare? Evil spirits hate this thing. You can pull out the hare using the Q key. You can use it to repel evil spirits away. Use it to make your way through a big map. Okay. You know what? We'll go with third person. I tried out first person for a bit, but it's not that great. I'm going to start panicking. Look, it's Teddy Bear Girl again. We get it, you want your bear, dude. What? I tried to buy sweets with all my New Year's money, but she got angry. I would give them to my mom too, but she thought I would eat them all by myself. Oh well, yeah, what, do you want me to get candy for you? I'm a little busy trying to survive. Okay, from one little girl to another, get over it. Oh, there's a sticker over there, you see that? 
No. We gotta get it. We gotta get the little duck sticker. I forgot that I have a weapon now. I have like something to fight back with. I kind of hated how she started, how she like ran up to me like that. Oof. Jeez, bus stop. I don't have enough money to get on the bus. I need 400 yen more to get home. Uh, excuse you. This is the convenience store from Chilla's game, the convenience store. Look at it. That's cool. Look at that. You can't look at it too long though. I mean, it's not the, it's not the exact same one. It's the same model on the inside, which is kind of cool. I don't know if that's... I don't know if Chilla was just like, hmm, I need, like, a gas station for the city. And then he was like, well, I already got one. <laughs> that I already made. Here it is. I I'm pretty sure it was more of that than just, like, an Easter egg, you know? What's this? What'd I just pick up? I actually have no idea. Here. A hundred yen. I have to go around and pick up hundred yen coins. <laughs> That's what I thought. So, oh my god! So I just gotta find coins. Chilla. It would it kill you to make the gameplay a little more compelling? Was it just in alleyways? Calm down here. <laughs> I loved that. It was like meme worthy, dude. I love to drop it in places like this. They love to pop, lock, and drop it. Ooh, is this a slide? That those are stairs. I'm a child. I made pancakes with my mom. They were so delicious that we promised to make them again. Fascinating. Your extremely normal childhood is fascinating to me. Thank you for uh, regaling me with the details of you making pancakes and you wanting candy. Okay, I just need 100 more yen. I'm in the park now. People lose money in the park all the time, you would think. Oh, cool. I like this park. What? The other night, I had trouble sleeping, but my mom made me cocoa, and I drank it, and it helped me sleep. It was good cocoa with lots of milk. Oh, shut up. You're a bad storyteller. Kids in general are just bad storytellers. I was tired, and my mom, she, she, she got me some, some, uh, she got me, she got me some cocoa. She got me some cocoa. It was good. I was tired, but then I had the cocoa and I wasn't tired anymore. Sorry, like how can anyone, there she is. How can anyone pretend to be fascinated by this? <laughs> I'm gonna make a great father someday. My kid's gonna be telling me some shitty story like that and I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be gobbling it up. I'm gonna be like, oh wow. <laughs> no way, then what happened? Oh my God, you better, you better get away from me. Why are you picking on a little girl like this? You asshole. And my mom, uh, she put, she put milk in it. She put milk in it. In what? What'd she put milk in? The cocoa. Oh, we're still talking about the cocoa. Oh, okay. It's been like 10 minutes since you mentioned it, but. I guess I'm just supposed to know that that's what you're talking about. Did anyone drop any money over here? Did anyone just carelessly drop any coins? Are you panicking? You did your right un you're like right underneath the light. Get a grip. I mean, I assume that there's more than 400 yen lying around. 
You know what I mean? Like, I assume that... There's more than enough to find. And it's not just... Get out of here. I assume that there's more than enough to find, and it's not just like... You have to find the four exact coins, or else you're SOL. <gasps> oh my god, I found it. Oh... What? Gotta get the sticker. Finally found it. Oh. Yeah! I got 400 yen. Stop it. I don't have money. Wait for the- yeah, okay, you just- you have to switch to the big coin in your inventory and then click on it. I can see that being kind of frustrating. Oh, what? Okay, first of all... Let's save progress. Wait. So wait, are we- uh, Where are we? Offering table. What's on the offering table? Any info would be helpful, please! Not the right way. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I don't live here. How would I possibly know that? Not the right way. Offering table. Oh. Oh, no. I got rid of my... Hooray. That's weird. So to gain access to the town, you have to... Give me a break. What? I drew a picture at preschool. And only my mother knew I drew a frog. What fascinating secret, kid. Hey. Hey, kid. Oh, shit. It's okay. We got out of there. We got out of there. I'm walking over the garbage, in the alleyways. But I can't walk over this one? Are you serious? I can walk over these, but not that one. Well, I can walk over those. Is this my home though? What do you mean? Do I need to get a key for it? For my own home? No way. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Would you? Uh, why, why do this to me? Oh my god, you can go over it. Gate key. Okay, so I got the gate key. My bad. My bad. <laughs> what was it doing in the playground, dude? <laughs> what the hell? Fuck. Are you still going this way? Oh my god, bro. It's time to get up. She's mad now. Fuck. It's okay, iframes, bitch. Okay. Can you open the gate, for fuck's sake? You didn't do it earlier either, gah. Pissing me off, bro. Okay. Oh, that's not a sticker. That's just foliage poking through the wall. Nice. This looks a lot like the doc from Missing Children. Hey, if I was chill as art and I made like a game every two months, I'd probably recycle some assets too. Why make the same thing twice? What's up? Don't make me get another key, okay. Where's home? You've got cars parked here? How do you, why? How did you get them here? I guess if this was taken down, but like, oh my God. How'd you get this car here? Why did you park it here? Where am I supposed to go? This way? It's all dark over here. Okay. Will you? <sighs> Shh, 
She won't leave me alone. Do I go back to them? Oh, she's right there. Don't know how I did that. Do I go back to it? God, she's so pissy. Why is she so pissy? Angie. Oh my god! Do I... <laughs> Gotta wait for the train to pass! Ow! Bruh! How long is it gonna take for the train to pass? I'm just gonna hide in the corner. Oh my god, it finally went. I'm waiting. Make a break for it. Make a break for it. Ah! That took so long. We're still not home. I'm almost there. It's almost sunrise. Where is my home again? I know it's around here. Oh, you are just, you are seriously helpless. The girl who lives in building 35 waves her hand every morning through the window. But she lives on the second floor and it's hard to see her face from here. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just exhausted by the previous events. I live in the building right across from her building. I told her to go to the fourth floor so that I can see her face clearly. Building 35 floor 4 or floor 2? I don't know. Bu 35? 9. Okay, so what? We go to 35? I like the giant neon signs. Also, they appear to be in no particular order. 34, 33, so what? 35 is this way? What was this? You posted this? Why would you post this on a bulletin board? Why would this be information that everyone needs to know? 35. Okay, fourth floor. The building right across from her. So that one? Okay, so is this my home? Yes? My key isn't fit. This isn't my home. Okay. Here's the problem. Are you the girl that's waving from the fourth floor? Or are you the one that wrote the bulletin? This is kind of a crappy hint. I'm sorry, but second floor? Does second floor actually mean third? Because in the US, second floor means the floor above the ground floor. And it seems like everywhere else, second floor means actually third floor here in the US. Like, for example, this is the ground floor, or in the US, the first floor, right? So that would mean that like, this is the second floor. But other places, this would be the first floor. I think it's dumb. I feel like the first floor should be the first floor. You know what I mean? I mean, everything else I'm like, okay. The US should just break down and adopt the metric system already. FFS, you know, it's like, just get this over with already. Just, if we're like the last holdout, even even the English don't use the English system anymore. It's like, why don't we just all get on the metric system? It'll make everything easier. Literally just making things needlessly complicated for no reason. But getting the US to like change anything is a pain in the ass. They basically won't do it. Okay, I got an achievement back home. Um, I had the right idea. I just went to the wrong building across from building 35. And it is on the fourth floor, not on the second floor. Are we okay? Um. Oh, are we creeping around because our mother doesn't like us or something like that? What's the, uh, what's the objective here? Oh, a closet with nothing in it. Charming. Um, okay.
I like the levitating cups. That's a nice touch. Oh, here's my room, maybe. Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to explain to me what you want me to do. Can I call with the chinchilla? I'm gonna need some sort of <laughs> instructions. Mom? When aren't you coming back? I feel lonely. Okay, so you have to go into the bathroom and click on the toilet. I don't know why. I don't- <laughs> I don't know why. I've been like wandering around trying to figure out what to do. There's nothing to click on. Apparently, I had to just click on the toilet. Wow. Can I go into my room now? Because this is clearly... No, because somebody rang the doorbell. Is it mom? Hello. I am here. I would love to answer the door. Can I answer the door? This is the front door. I literally just walked in through it. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Blooming scary. It's my room. I look at the entrance and the door slowly opens. Mom, is that you? She approached me with a puzzled look. Why? What are you doing? Your arm, you're hurt. Were you? Hold on. I'll take care of you. Mom rushes out of the room. My arm was hurt. I look down and see my bloody arm and a bed stained red. I... What? You what? Mom comes back into the room with a first aid bag. She must have been in a hurry to get it because I see the contents of her bag strewn all over the hallway. Huh. Can't help but laugh a little. Did you do this to yourself? Why did you do this? Mom is staring at my arm and carefully tending to it, never looking at me. As I stared at her, I could see her eyes were watery. Did you have a bad day? Could it be that... She kept her mouth shut after that and held back. It's your mother's fault, isn't it? I'm not sure what to say. Do you hate me now? Tears flowed from her eyes. I wondered if I had ever seen my mother cry before. She is a strong mother who never shows her weaknesses. The fact that such a strong mother was crying made my heart ache. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry I pushed you this far. I couldn't help but hug her. We were crying together. I love you, Rena. Her words were so warm and... I know. And that was all I could say at that moment. That girl. I wonder what she was trying to tell me. She was feeling the same. No, she was shouldering something much heavier. But I'm okay. I can say that now. What could I do now? Okay. I'm assuming that that's the end. Aw, cat. Alright, well, that was Nightway Home. What a profoundly... Irritating game. Dude, that was probably the most annoying Chilla's art game. Okay, I would have shown the credits, but there was a song with vocals, and anytime I hear that, I'm like, it might be in the content ID system, copyright system on YouTube, so. Yeah, so like I said, annoying game. Uh, not Chilla's best. Um, I would say this is probably the weakest entry in a while. Um, cause, and it, it's weird, they were on like a tear there for a little bit, at least from my subjective perspective. Um, they, like, I thought they did a great game. What was the last one? I'm having to, like, look up <laughs> what games I've played on YouTube. Night Delivery. Night Delivery was really good. I thought The Caregiver was really good. That was their latest one before that. Um, Ghost Train and Missing Children, I wasn't big on. And The Convenience Store was really good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, that's, like, three out of their last five I thought were, like, 
very good games. Uh, this one was a lot more average. Um, I would say it's probably the worst one um, in the past year or so. But it, it wasn't bad. It just was very annoying, I think. The, the gameplay with the enemy and the anxiety. Anytime you uh, left the light and that bar started to fill up. Uh, finding the coins in the city. I mean, just there was not any interesting gameplay loops for me. It was all just annoying. I mean, with that said, I still like the aesthetic of these games. I like the atmosphere, uh, but this one was just kind of a, a thumbs down for me. It just in, in relation, uh, re relatively to the other ones. But let me know what you thought about Night Way Home in the comments. And, uh, you know, I still, I still really like Chilla's art as a developer. It's just they are very hit or miss for me. It's like they'll have a home run game, and then they'll have one like this that I just don't really care for. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought, though, in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.